Hi guys, welcome to edition 24 of Wednesday with Williams. Now before we get started, I've got a little funny story. So we had the weekend off and we went out Friday night. I'm coming out to the warehouse about half 12. And as I'm walking out, this big fella, was like, Ryan! I'm thinking, oh Jesus, what have I done now? I'm having heart palpitations, absolute panic up. He starts striding towards me. I'm thinking, oh no. I love Wednesday with Williams. Hey? <laughs> Next thing. Yeah, yeah. I wait for it every Wednesday when I'm in work sitting at my office. So to you guys that actually watch me ramble on about all sorts, you are the real MVPs. I want to thank you. And I want to thank you for that guy for not hitting me. I thought it was about to go down. But anyway, as I was saying, oh, the weekend, we had the weekend off and um, big news emerged. We come back into training Monday morning to find Shane McElhaney finally popped the question. The guy's getting married. Big Shane on. How did it go out? How did it go down? How did it play out? What happened? Um, just on Friday we uh, we went for a bite to eat and went for a couple of drinks and went for a walk along the canal and finally popped up the courage to stay. They asked him. Happy said yes. Well, he looks happy about it, doesn't he? <laughs> you know I don't like doing stuff against that. You're fucking killing me. <laughs> Um, so basically, I just we went for something to eat, and um, I was just nervous the whole day, and I wanted to get it over and done with before we went for a weekend in Montreal. So uh, I called up the guys and asked, and she said yes. So I'm happy about it then. So before you were before you were like gonna pop the question, were you getting a little bit weird, or were you acting differently? Uh, yeah, I was uh, <laughs> walking back up and down the canal just to see if there was anybody about, and like. <laughs> Every time I like was thinking, building up the courage to ask, like, I, you know, a runner would run past or somebody on a bike would go past, and I was just like going back and forth, thinking like eleven times. I changed my mind and thought no, and then thought I, I'll do it. But I done it then. Just build up the courage and get down. And happy day, she said yes. Like, love that. So let's picture this: Big Machelini's there having his wedding, right? Who would be the least likely? in our locker room that you picked to be your best man and why? Oh, the least likely to be my best man? Oh, it's a tough question. I would say probably just because how long the speech would be, I would say uh, on a wall basse. He'd probably go and start talking about politics and Trump and all this kind of stuff. So maybe, aye, uh, Obasi, Obasi. I'm in agreement with that. There's no way I'd be picking Obasi to be my best man. Not a chance. Probably stroll up wearing a tracksuit or something as well. <laughs> I've been here a year now and I haven't seen a Bassi wear nothing but his Fury gear or a pair of joggies. So, you know, a Bassi's out. Who do you think in our locker room would be the last person to get married and why? <sighs> the last person to get married? I would say probably Butchie. Because. <laughs> because he just doesn't like women at all. <laughs> Agreed. I've never seen the guy speak to a woman in person. He only speaks to them via text or social media or something like that. So, I don't know. He ain't getting married anytime soon, is he? No. He doesn't like women, man. He's just... That's how he's... <laughs> he's single until he's about 40 until he calms down a bit, I think. That's but he done. So, guys, I'm sure you'll all join me in wishing the future Mr. and Mrs. Macalini a lot of happiness, and uh, don't be watching any more films than Emily Radikowski and mate. No, no, I won't, lad. <laughs> Guys, join us next week. Take care.